Okay, so let's 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 take a look at the dolphins from 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 this one day. Um, so looking through these slides, we've got uh, it looks like we've got Eve there, which uh, she's she's one of our long-term residents. Uh, she's had you know at least five calves that we know of, uh, and there she is. And and uh, there's no calf that day, so that, that's not her calf. We've got Marge, um, and she's another. Another one that's had a number of calves we know about. And she's she's certainly been our system for at least ten years. That uh, looks like Kaiser there. Kaiser's younger. We thought Kaiser was a male until she had a calf. Uh, so Kaiser's not the best name. Uh, but uh, there's Eve and Marge together right there. Looks like there's the two calves. Um, oh no, this one does have calves. There's uh, the two calves are. Uh, um, Doing surface active behavior, they're probably old enough that they're um, that they're getting a little independent from their moms, and they're they're kind of off together, and and they've got time on their hands, so you see them wrestling more often. Now, this was during the low tide. Yeah. Okay. So so this is right when all the chlorophyll max is is, is occurring in, in that particular area. Yeah, pretty much exactly at low tide. Okay. Um, and and you got. We have the chlorophyll measurements. What yeah, else? We took chlorophyll. Um, we counted them afterwards. We took um, water temperature. Um, did you get the zooplankton toe? We did the zooplankton toe. Okay. Okay. Have you have you done? You haven't been able to run up the zooplankton toe data yet, right? Because I no. still owe you some yes. information. Yes. Have you been able to track the uh, phytoplankton data yet? Yep. Uh, yeah. Plotted out. And it was it pretty much yeah matched it. I mean it pretty much peaked at. Peaked at low tide, time, right low there. Time, yeah. So all the patterns fit fit what it's supposed to be. Pretty much exactly. So yeah. Now we see. Now we have to see if the zooplankton are working. Love and, it when that happens. Yeah. And the dolphins, and uh, at least this day seems to be working right with the dolphins. So it's bringing them all together. So these are all residents. Will they travel far out of that area? Or they just kind of stick around the inlet, around North Inlet. Well, yeah, these these all North Inlet. It's not not that big of a system, and we've got. Um, We've got about a dozen sort of North Inlet dolphins. I mean, they, they don't they don't they don't only stay in the North Inlet salt marsh creeks. They go out into Winyaw Bay. They go out along the coast a little bit, but they spend more than half their time in here, and they don't go that far. Um, they may sometimes we miss them for uh, for a little while, but they're they're basically North Inlet dolphins. So these are not not the same ones that we see um, just you know 20 miles up the road uh, um, uh, uh, going back and forth along the Grand Strand there on, along the coast. Okay. So they're. Their um, their residents and some of these females especially have have, have been very reliable and, and uh, um, for ten years now and have calf after calf that, that that they have in this system. It's the timing of their birth. So Marge is usually on a three year calving cycle and Eve is pretty fast on a yeah. two year cycle. When they match up in the same year, they're together the whole time until uh, you know almost basically for the for the next year. Um, not all the time, but they they're really together a lot. Um, when they're on off years, uh, not as much, but they, you know, sometimes they're together. So uh, it, it's a, it's an interesting group. The the ones that just had calves tend to sort of line up together for a year, um, <laughs> and and uh, yeah, and so uh, it sort of depends on on who's got a calf which time. But every now and then they're all together. So sometimes you have a group of you know 10, 12 dolphins all through, and and, and all, all the regulars. Um, but th these groups are usually a little smaller. Usually they're anywhere from two to five. Um, so back to you and your uh, your position. So where was where was that site where where we were just looking at the dolphins? We were looking at them um, just off of Noble Slough, which is right here. Right there. And when we took our chlorophyll samples, actually when we processed them all. Okay. So t tell me about the uh, tell me about what the the chlorophyll max the, what the chlorophyll levels were doing over the time you were out there. Yeah. So near Noble Slough, when we saw a couple individuals. When we actually looked at the numbers, if low tide is here two hours after and two hours before, so you got time here, density here, roughly the plot maxed out right around low tide, then kind of stayed the same, kind of peaked again a little bit, and then dropped down again two hours after. So maybe that's, I mean, maybe indicating that it's not really mixing as readily as we thought it would or just it takes longer for everything right. to drain out. Right. 
Well, I think you know, low tide is when it's all really drained, and then it, it's it's it doesn't start to clear out, especially this area with the currents going different ways. It gets kind of stagnant for a little while there. Yeah. So I think that plateau sticks around. You can sell when the currents kick back in because it just phew, gets flushed out. So so the time I'm expecting to see our dolphins concentrated here is uh, between low tide and about two hours after low tide. Yeah, I think okay. is going to be the peak. And you know a little bit on either side because they got to come and go. But uh, long term, when you're when you're plotting up the data, that's mm -hmm. that's the area that I think we're most going to be looking at. Okay.